To prevent disease outbreaks carried by mosquitoes and other insects, we need to work together to keep the environment clean. So we need to share the same mindset, yeah? like, please keep the environment, please keep the household, please keep the community clean all the time. The Republic of Palau is located in the Northwest Tropical Pacific and is famous for its beautiful rock islands and diverse underwater seascape, which attracts many tourists. But like many tropical islands, diseases carried by mosquitoes and other insects affect the community. Terrorborne diseases has uh, threatened the livelihood of the residents of Palau in many ways. But I will point out two things. For water, access to safe and clean water. Number two, lack of clean water can result in uh, foodborne illnesses. Um, Vector-borne disease uh, is a recurrent uh, uh, climate-related uh, problem in Palau. Since 2019, the European Union-funded Global Climate Change Alliance Plus Scaling Up Pacific Adaptation Project has been working with national agencies and partners in Palau to address some of the environmental health issues impacted by climate change. In Palau, the project is scaling up previous efforts by the government and other partners to prevent water and vector-borne diseases. The project is helping communities in five states on the island of Bubbledob to monitor their community environment and reduce the incidence of vector-borne diseases such as malaria and dengue fever. Residents of Bubbledob are mainly self-employed, so an outbreak of dengue fever reduces their income since the parents or one of the parents has to stay home to recover or care for their sick child. Added to this, if a child is sick, then he or she will miss school. With the support of the project, the Division of Environmental Health in Palau is adapting a specific and personal approach to reduce the vulnerability of communities to waterborne and vectorborne diseases in five states on the main island of Bubbledob. Between July and August 2021, a team from the Division of Environmental Health visited 264 households to do walk-arounds with families and help identify breeding grounds for mosquitoes and other disease-carrying animals. Hygienic and sanitary conditions in each household were also assessed. Potential breeding sites for mosquitoes, such as tires and empty containers left around the yard area, were identified. In the past, communities used to do monthly or weekly cleanup campaigns. Uh, before they used to have this uh, community work, they call it the rural balloon. And uh, I think we have to, we should go back to that uh, scenario. Eh? We, we plan a, like a regular uh, community cleanup campaign every month or every twice a month before uh, we have uh, a few type of uh, this uh, uh, vector-borne disease, not like today. We need to have a good uh, means of uh, uh, segregation of uh, all the trusts to segregate what kind of trust to go for the public tap and which one is go for recycling and, and uh, reuse. So we try to minimize those uh, type of trusts that uh, could be uh, potential and actual breeding places for a bit. It is hoped that the project will help restart such action on a regular basis. Any other places in the world where people always neglect their, uh, like around the house, so always that uh, thing that they become the problem of the mosquito breeding sign, like a plastic container, any container actually, any container, plastic or metal container, and even the tires. This is a very top three, like a very common breeding site that we always need to remind the household that they need to dispose or at least they need to properly put the storage, like for example, the tires. Because tires is a very effective breeding site eh? because of the 
the design of the tire and also the color because the dark color are the one also going to attract the mosquito to lay the egg. Everyone needs to cooperate in order for us to prevent an outbreak to happen. So we need to have this share the same mindset, yeah? Like, please keep the environment, please keep the household, please keep the community clean all the time. The results of the assessment have shown that one of the main actions is for households to keep their yards clean and to remove empty containers, tires, and to drain pools of standing water. This and other information about water and vector-borne diseases and ways communities can minimize their risks to their health was shared at separate town hall meetings in the five states in November 2021. With the support of the project, water quality monitoring equipment, kits and chemicals have also been supplied to the Division of Environmental Health for training in vector control and management at state level. So uh, this project actually uh, aims to build on uh, these uh, small scale uh, projects that were successful that built resilience on the island. But more importantly, it's just not to build up, but also to sustain it through behavior change. How can we uh, continue this program after the life cycle of the project? And uh, this project, it, it looks, it, it's a long term vision. Although it's uh, funded by uh, EU for about approximately two and a half years, but the outlook is long term. And the only way to achieve the long term is actually changing people's be uh, behavior, how they practice. Combined with education, awareness and regular monitoring activities, the project plans to create a lasting change such that people adopt a new model of behavior that will reduce the negative impact of climate change and variability on their health and well-being.